Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I believe I have found the answers to a couple mysteries that I had at the end of the last episode. So, oh, whoops, I don't want to rename my ship. No! No! Stop trying to rename it! That's oh, actually unnamed. Uh, let's call it the... The Awesome Boat. No, stop! Oh, dear God! I don't even know what it was called before, but it seems just clicking this thing resets it. Alright, stop clicking there. I'll click here. There we go. Right, so one of the things I was wondering is, why can't I read the paper? Because I slept, it had definitely been at least a day. But I couldn't read the paper. And I believe the reason is because I already have recent news which comes from the paper. And as it says, you can't collect more than one recent news at a time. Which kind of makes sense and kind of doesn't. I mean, I get why they don't want you to just constantly stack up recent news. Because then it, well, it, would, it wouldn't really be recent, would it? However, I don't understand why you can't continue to read the paper. Like, why can't you read the paper if it's a new day, and it just doesn't affect the amount of recent news that you get, but it still reduces your terror because you're reading the paper, and, you know, if you find the coupon like I have in the past, it still gives you the supplies. So I don't understand why it doesn't just do that, but then not give you another recent news. It's like, the paper doesn't exist? If you already read the paper yesterday, that doesn't even make any sense, but... Yeah, I think that's the reason why. And the other thing I was wondering is, how come when I came into London it didn't reduce my terror down to 50? And from looking online, and, and this was from the early access version of the game, so it may have changed or something, but I believe the reason is that you need to get far enough away from London that the little um, the little icon in the bottom left pops up saying, like, there's, there's new stuff waiting for you back at London. I think you need to get far enough away and wait long enough for that to appear. And then once that appears, then your terror will be reduced to 50. So, I think that answers that. I was taking a look around the shops, and I realized that I can actually sell my ivory at the Wolfstack Exchange. And strangely enough, it doesn't sell for, for, for very much. So I've got three of them, and each one goes for 28. I mean, given that I just killed that massive beast, and I actually had a very low chance of actually being able to kill it, I was figuring the ivory would be worth a lot, but apparently it's not. I almost want to save it, but... I mean, I kind of need to free up some space in my hole. My, my cargo. And I have no idea what to do with this harlot fry. This bucket of tiny but razor-toothed serpentlings. I'm actually surprised the alarming scholar isn't interested in that. You'd think it'd be something that they'd want to study. But apparently not. Anyway, I kind of need space, so I'm just going to sell the ivory. Because I've had it for a while and it's been completely useless so far. Also going to sell my bolt of spider silk. And because my terror is so high and it hasn't been reduced to 50, and I'm not going to be able to reduce it to 50 for quite a while, I'm going to run with my lights on. Which means we're going to need a lot of fuel, which I have. So I should be okay to go explore. Yeah, I think I'm ready. going to turn off my lights just because I'm really close to London, so I should be fine for here. But as soon as I get out a little bit more, I'm going to turn them back on. Also going to stop by this place here and reduce my terror by giving them my recent news. So I'm going to stop here and then continue on. Like I said at the end of the last episode, going to continue on to the southeast and go explore this place. Out into the Untersee we go. I'm 
Wait, what? That thing saw me before I could even see it. Hmm. It's got 90 hit points. I can't take it out, but I want to get behind it first. Are you really going to follow me all the way into port? killed it like one pixel before it hit my ship. Oh, uh, let's butcher it. Alright. Let me see if I can come up behind that ship. Oh, yes. Hello. Wait. Are you turning around? Shit. Is it coming towards me or is it just going in a circle? Because sometimes they tend to idle. Yeah, they kind of idle in a circle like that. Alright, here we go. Now's my chance. Such an awkward fight. One fuel, two supplies. And another bolt of spider silk. It's another 50 echo in the bank. And killing that should have reduced my terror. Yes, I believe it did. 54, nice. If only I could find an unlimited source of pirates and crabs. Just farm them all day. The Bonnie Reefs is a long way to the southeast. Oh, perfect. That's exactly where I'm going. It's funny, when it says a long way, typically it's like 10 seconds of traveling and then you're there. It's not exactly what I would call long. Distant bells. I'm not going to try to fight that thing. Those things are freaking annoying. They can turn on a dime. Huh? Oh, it saw me. Great. It's fine. Oh, it looks like it's actually south. Launch at me all you want. I can dodge like a mofo. Oh, beautiful. Is there actually anywhere to dock? Okay, please stop following me. Whoa! Okay, we're turning around. How many hit points does that thing have? 150. Okay, yeah. Nope. Oh, you're a friendly ship, I believe? Yeah. You're friendly. You might not want to go that way. There's a giant... Okay, and you're going to teleport. Of course. There's something wrong with those ships. They just teleport all over the damn place. Demo. Demo. Hey, it's the funging station. That's like one of the first things the Admiralty wanted me to find and I haven't found until like eight hours into the damn game.
I and M has a funger. Do I call it funger? Funger? I don't know. I'm going to call it funger. Because it sounds more fung. I and M has the funger operation here. Felling giant beligus shrooms for building materials. Harvesting a corral... Bleh, I don't even know. For its medicinal properties. It's a desperate little outpost of something like civilization. Up puffs the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We'd go quite mad out here otherwise. <laughs> quite mad. How can we be of assistance? This must be where they make those fungal crackers and all sorts of other weird fungal stuff. Wasn't there fungal wine? Like, how do you make wine from fungus? It's creepy. The Admiralty asks you to bring back strategic information. This is your contact. Let's give the pass sign to the Affable Factor. Is that the person's name? Affable Factor? It's a weird name. A strained smile. Here. Little to report, but we have had Canate privateers nosing around. And tell them that the company grows suspicious. Mr. Iron knows the Admiralty is interested in his business. Pray, my friend, that you never have to serve two masters, as I do. Yeah, that'd be a bad position to be in. Have some tea with the factor. Explore. Accept a volunteer. Well, might as well compile a port report. Of course, INM's activities here don't seem that interesting. Nevertheless, record what you can. And what is this? Oh, to gather supplies, I need a terror of no more than 50. Some of the island's fungus is good to eat. Some is poisonous, hallucinogenic, or mischievous. Good luck. And I'm guessing if you fail, you probably... Well... I guess it depends on which one of these you hit, right? It could be poisonous, which means you might lose crew. It could be hallucinogenic, which means it might increase terror. Or mischievous, which means... I don't even know. Hmm, so I can actually get crew members here really cheaply, but it is going to eat up my free day. So for only one Echo, I can get a new crew member. I am kind of low on crew. I mean, I've only got 7 out of 10. One of the company's bulligous fellers has negotiated an early release from her contract. It's the Sproutlings, she tells you, her face pleading. I keep picking them out of my porridge, and my hair, and my eyes... Take me away. I'm a good worker. But <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to work here either. Hmm. I do kind of need more crew. Like, I really do need them. Yeah. Let's hire on another crew member. You pay the release fee to the factor, and your new Zailer settles in. Ready to Zail now? Oh god, stop saying Zail. All right, time to go. But go where? I don't actually know. Should I explore here? Or should I just go south? I mean, the way everything's spread out, I'm probably not going to find more than one new place here. And I really want to find new stuff. I need new trade opportunities and, and stuff like that. I'm going to go east. I'm going to explore this big place. Like, northeast. Whoa. Oh, no, I just hired a new crew member and I'm going to have to shoot another one. One of them's gone crazy. Do I take the 45% chance? Sure. 
Sure. Um, oh, I succeeded. Your crew bring her down in a shrieking heap. You drag her off below decks. I am that old fury, she is howling. For a moment in the glim light, her eyes seem to swirl the gray of storm clouds. Lost two crew. Fuck. Oh, I now have a prisoner. Ooh. I forgot what I can get for prisoners, but I know I can take them to... Uh, what was the place called? Gator's Morn? Was that it? I don't entirely remember where that place was. No, wait, it was in the Sea of Lilies, right? Yeah, it was in the Sea of Lilies. Uh, which place was it, though? Was it here? I don't think so. I don't know, it's somewhere around here. I think it might I think it's this place right here. That's cool, but now I need even more crew. Uh, apparently if your crew gets to like half, I believe your ship slows down or something like that. Considerably. So it's it's actually really it's actually really bad. And I have six, so if I lose one more crew member, I'm kinda screwed. I gotta reduce my terror, but I can't really do that unless I get far enough away that I can go back to London. And then have it reduced to 50, but I still... the, the new events thing still hasn't popped up. So... I'm just going east. I want to find more things to shoot. Easy things to shoot. Reduce my terror, gather some supplies. It'd be awful nice. At this point, though, I'm kind of far enough away from my home port that anything I encounter is probably going to be pretty damn tough. This is a long way to the southwest. I'm not going southwest. Okay, this doesn't look good. Um, thread the needle between the shark and the dubious maelstrom. It's turning around. All right, let's go east. Listen to the dreams. Gain five terror. Fuck me! Crab cake. That's really cool looking. Why am I worried though that it's an actual crab shell and it's gonna like start walking and <laughs> just swallow me? Oh shit. I'm sick of you. Ah. Dick. Scoop it up. Now have a strange catch. Ooh, something awaits me in port. Okay, so now I, and now I think I can go back to London. And now that I killed that, my terror is actually not so bad. Hello? What's this place? Porcelain Quarter. My fuel is actually surprisingly low. 
Is this... Oh, this is the other side of the cons place. Um... Oh, that's a bridge, so I should be able to go under it. I better. <laughs> right? Right? Okay. Thank God. It's a little bit hard to tell depth in this game, being top-down and all. Khan's Heart, London's rival. An oasis of light in the salt-black wastes. Canals thread the painted city. Street lamps glow and water taxis putter. Seek a commercial license. Hmm. The Kaganians dislike merchants, and they dislike foreigners. Foreign merchants induce paroxysms of antipathy. Perhaps sufficient bribes will buy your way into the Nephrite Quarter. Hmm. That sounds like a potential way to get a trade route or something. Getting a commercial license. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff I can do here. Let's see. Oh, and a lot of this I can only do if the Kaganians aren't too suspicious of me. At the moment, they're very slightly suspicious because of the snooping around that I did before. Time in the tea house. Hmm. Hire more crew? Yes, absolutely. Let's go ahead and do that. A hungry sort. This Zaylor is thin enough to slide through a porthole and desperate enough to sign on even with a sun-bidden empress gobbler. She doesn't use those terms when she thinks you're nearby. A sun-bidden empress gobbler. Okay. Ooh, I can actually keep doing that. I'm gonna get one more. It's kind of expensive compared to getting them at home, but I can only get one at a time at home. Can wander around. Should probably compile a report, huh? Ooh, except that's a very chancy challenge. 43%. That's not worth it. I'm gonna raise their suspicion if I fail it. A 0% chance of success? Wait, what does it mean an almost impossible challenge? If my chance is 0%, then it's literally impossible. Establish a spy in Khan's heart. Whoa. Wow, you can really start playing the political game here, huh? Okay, well, only one of these options actually uses up my, like, free day. So... I guess I might as well just do this and see what happens. Because it's not going to restrict any of my other options, because none of the other options actually require that. Except for this, but that's an impossible challenge, so I'm certainly not going to be doing it. So let's do this one. Foreigners are restricted to the Copper Quarter. But as long as you don't try to cross the bridges, you can explore in reasonable safety. A quiet street. A narrow street opens on your left. The filament bulbs here are green-tinted, and the street is unusually dim, like the space between a thick forest canopy. Ten steps in, and the noise of the crowds on the canal side is oddly hushed. A candlelit shop. A quiet street washed with serpent green light from bulbs overhead. The houses here are dark, empty-seeming. Paint peels and bats chitter. A single shop, however is open. Its windows glow with candlelight. And the shopkeeper is a tall woman with pale eyes. Not a local, but not a Londoner either. She blows the dust off a bay's box and smiles toothily at you. Seventy-seven echo for a pot of violent of uh, wait, yeah, violent ink. Hmm. A watchful curio. A drowning pearl. I don't know what any of this stuff is for. Ooh, I can actually purchase a sooth and copper long box, huh? I thought I was just going to be transporting those, like, when the uh, acolyte or whatever her name was, the, the woman cutting open the bodies. I thought I was only going to transport this stuff 
Like when somebody gave me a specific quest, but I can just purchase them outright. Interesting. I think I want to do that. A misplaced delivery. The shopkeeper opens a trapdoor. A pale and surly youth comes up, blinking, and hastily dons a pair of dark glasses. He helps you carry the long box down to the dock, mute all the way. This does appear to be a misplaced delivery. I wonder if it has a special body in it or something. Or if it's just another normal, normal one. Hmm. It's a shame I can't buy more, because I'd buy, like, well, as many as I can freaking fit, and then just go straight up to, uh, Station 3, was it? No shops here, huh? I guess they just won't sell to me. Time in the tea house. <laughs> purchase fuel at an outrageous price. I gain access to the nephrite quarter to purchase less expensive fuel. Hmm. Not well, for only five echo, I can pay a storyteller. Sure. The storytellers in the square of Sadars wear brightly colored uh, caftan-like clothing with silk sashes, in contrast to the more sober and subterranean dress of the citizenry. For coin, even foreign coin, they'll sing epics of their nation's history. The Temptations of Parabola Where London now stands, the capital of the Canate once stood after its own disappearance from the surface. After the clean sky and wide earth, they went half mad in the close night under the earth. They found serpent things in mirrors that promised them diversion, escape, new horizons. In time, the mirror serpents became masters, not servants, and the last true Khan led the last of his people to the salt steppes, to a black rock where he founded the city. How he built it is a tale for another day. You feel eyes on you. A woman in white and gold uniform watches you closely. The loyalty service is sus suspicious of foreigners who want to learn King, uh, Kaganian history. Oh my god, I gain suspicion just by listening to stories? They're freaking paranoid. Alright, well... Well, my suspicion is not too high, let's go ahead and try to seek a commercial license. Not here, surfacer. Surfacer? But the Kaganians have been generations underground. And to them, all Londoners are surfacers. It seems you'll need to go to Khan's Glory, the nearby palace of the nobility, to seek a license. Oh. Okay. This is probably going to increase my suspicion even more, but let's spend some time in the tea house. A gentle, trickling music plays behind screens of painted weed wood. Canate merchants sip tea and swap stories with darker-skinned elder continent captains. You sip pale golden tea and wince at the bill. <laughs> that is some expensive tea. Jesus, 50 echo. Lost a little bit of terror. That was not worth it. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So let's go up to Khan's glory. Doesn't seem I can do much of anything. So to petition for access, I need... The Leopard's... 
Condens... That's not condensation. Condescension. That's the word. I have no idea how I get that. I guess maybe with this, but I need Timon's Mercy, and how do I get that? I don't even know. Alright, well, let's sail past. And turn back. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing for me here. Okay, I'm kind of low on fuel. I do want to make my way up to Station 3, but I don't think I have enough fuel to do that, do I? I also want to go to Shepherd's Isles and maybe this place and try to drop off this prisoner. Let's do that. I'm going to go north. I think if I leave my lights off, I should have enough fuel. I can't believe how fast you burn through fuel when you have your lights on. It's ridiculous. I mean, I started out this journey with, what, 17 fuel? Now I've got six. Oh, this is the prisoner place. Yeah, all right, let's hand over the prisoner. Oh no, we'll pay you, the unctuous fellow says. We can always find a use for another pair of hands. We get lonely, you know. Lonely. Ugh. Here you go. I gained terror and also gained money. What awaits your prisoner? Someone, somewhere, is screaming. The unctuous fellow clucks sadly. Gruel on Thursdays. Someone really doesn't like gruel. Is it a Thursday? I don't know. I lose track. Perhaps then the gruel's a little nasty. Thank you for your contribution. Here's your payment. Good day. Um, do I need to buy fuel? It's expensive as hell, but I'm going to do it. I want to be able to complete this trip without having to go back to London. So yeah, let's go to Shepherd's Isles and then Station 3. Go turn to my long box. And hopefully... The woman at Station 3 will have some more errands for me to do. Report, report. Ah, yes, the tales. The dubious tales. I believe the first one I did before was the standing stones. Hmm, looks like I can engage a first officer. And I don't have a first officer. Increases mirrors and veils. I... Let me guide your ship. I know all the Z. How it was. How it will be. Please. The headaches only stop when I'm working. 
the sigil-ridden navigator. Sure, come aboard. Come on. Thank you. The nonsense here was a distraction for a while, but only the Z can help me now. Ah, oh my god, the air. The air. It's clearer already. Let me chart a course for you. Something wrong with this guy. Oh wow, that's that's actually really good. Mirrors plus six, fails plus three. Has that tattoo grown since you last looked? Uh has it? His head is very strange. That's his forehead is really large. Oh my god, I have ten secrets. I should probably spend them. And increasing my mirrors increases the speed at which I can actually fire my guns, as well as, of course, the skill checks during various story things, so I think I actually want to increase that. I should probably spend more of my secrets. I do want to keep a couple of them, though, for other things since they do have uses beyond just upgrading my skills. Yes, yeah, so and I have a minus 0.44 seconds bonus for my mirror stat. Which is not actually that much, but, eh, it's something. Okay. Picnic. Hmm... I have a feeling it's going to increase my terror. Let's hear the tale of the three graves. Up from the Z-bed. You know the drownies? The Zaylers, what won't rest? Well, they rest here. I've seen them come up, come up out of the water all white and dripping, and dig themselves into the ground. They take turns. I think they miss the feel of the earth. Ugh. The drownies sound like... Uh, what are they? I think they're just called the Drowners, right? From The Witcher? They sound kind of similar. Like dead bodies that have just become reanimated in a way, but they're not zombies. They're changed. Something under the water there. What the hell is that? I guess I don't want to know. Let's deliver the box. Or, wait a minute. I can also exchange a box. For hard metal ingot. What use is hard metal to you? <laughs> but then, what use is a long box? Perhaps you imagine the whisper at, sh at your shoulder. What use indeed is a heart? When you turn, there's only the ragged flirting of the wind. Yeah, I have no reason to get a heart metal ingot, so I guess I'm just going to deliver the box. 100 echo, nice. Earned a little bit more of the Acolyte's favor. If I could find somewhere to just, like, buy these boxes and just, just straight up deliver them like the Sphinx Stone, I would love that. Alright, let me see if she wants any favors. I guess not. I mean, I don't see an option here, so I don't think she does. Yeah, she doesn't have any errands for me. Okay. 
Okay, I am going to go to Vendor Bite. Actually, no, I'm not going to push it. I'm going to go to Gator's Moor and Hunter's Keep and then Fallen London. And reduce my terror down to 50. Which I should be able to do now. For some reason, that little icon down here disappeared. I don't know why. I thought it was supposed to stay. So long as there's something waiting for you back there. And oh my god, please go away thing. Oh god, oh. That's all it is? That's nothing. I thought it was something nasty. And hopefully I can find some pirate ships down here, because the pirate ships tend to hang around here. Want to get into some combat. Right, I keep forgetting. 49% chance of success to actually gather a port report. I keep losing people here. Like, every time I do something here, I lose a crew member. Eh, let's go for it again. Ooh, I succeeded. A steaming bathhouse on a spur of rock. Water slops over the edge of tubs. Out over the edge to join the Z far below. Scarred captains boast drunkenly of the prizes they've taken. And the victims they've marked out. You listen from the shadows. Gained a port report. That's all I'm gonna do here. Just quickly take a little bit of a detour here and see if there's any pirate ships hanging about. Ooh. Hello. Doing circles again for some weird reason. I'm just going to hide behind this for a second, wait till it turns around. And... Now we strike. Oh my god, I can't believe you missed. Two fuel, one supply, cash for curiosities. And one more fuel. Eh, not bad. At this point, my terror is actually below 50, so going back to London serves no purpose as far as that goes. Let's reduce my terror slightly. Lost one terror. Actually, I probably should have gathered them up. One terror is not worth it. I think you gain one supply if you actually take the corpses and gain one terror. Eh, I probably should have done that.
I feel like the most efficient way to go, assuming you have a ship that's strong enough, is to just leave your lights off and then gain back your... or lower your terror just by killing enemies. Port report. Speak with... Cynthia? Yeah, you do gain terror when you speak with her. But also supplies. And you lose your hunger. And you get a tale of terror. Okay, that's weird. I thought, like, if there's something waiting for you back here, isn't there an option that appears, like, collect messages from the Harbor Master? It's not here. But I saw the icon pop up down here multiple times, and then it disappeared, and then it popped up, and then disappeared. Do offers expire? Like, if you wait too long, do they just disappear, or what? I don't get it. Right, let's read the papers. Let's get another crew member. Oh, no, I, I still can't get a new crew member. Why? Something seems wrong. I don't get it. Ah, yes, I can pass on the strategic information that I gleaned. Gain favor, 100 and 150 echo. Sweet. Should have a bunch of port reports too. Dim Island. Oh yes, and then once again the Shepherd's Isle thing, I can submit it as fact or fiction. Well, it's probably unsubstantiated here's hearsay. Just gotta be honest. Oh yes, and now that I've done specifically what they wanted me to do with the funging station, let's ask if there's anything else. Okay, he wants me to, to visit... Polythreme. Somewhere a good way east of London. East of London? Damn, I've already been pretty far east. Even further? Hmm. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do next time. I feel kind of aimless now that I've lost my Sphinx Stone run. I'm not sure what to do. I feel like I'm just kind of slowly bleeding money. So I'm not entirely sure what to do. I feel like the best chance, like the most solid lead at the moment of a, a sort of trade route or any kind of a decent, reliable source of income is delivering the boxes to Station 3. But the only problem with that is that I need to find somewhere where I can actually get the boxes. I don't know if I can just straight up purchase them from Vendorbyte. It seems doubtful. I mean, Vendorbyte is so close to Station 3. Well, I mean, then again, it's actually further away than the salt lines are to fall in London. And that was a good trade route. So, yeah, maybe I can just buy them from Vendorbyte? I thought I tried that, though. And they didn't have any in stock or something. 
but maybe now that I have like a a good reputation with the woman at station three, maybe they'll be willing to sell me the boxes. I have no idea. But at the moment, that's my most solid lead. Everything else I'm doing is just aimless wandering. Hmm. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do next episode is probably head to Hunter's Keep, because it's kind of just a freebie. Just head there, get a port report, speak with the sisters, then head north to Venderbite, see if I can do something to get me some more uh, casks to deliver to Station 3. So go to Hunter's Keep, go here, see if I can find some things to deliver to Station 3, head over to Station 3, and hopefully on the way I can fight some pirates here to reduce my terror and gain some supplies. Go to Station 3, and then maybe just explore more up here. That sounds good to me. Alright. Well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.